When you look at this guy, you might be thinking, hey, that's just a moose with a bowl on its head. But he's not just a moose with a bowl on his head. He's a moose with a bowl on his head that is going to completely destroy the integrity of competitive Pokemon as we know it. Ting Lu is the dark and ground type member of the Treasures of Ruin Quartet. Like all the other members of the quartet, his ability, Vessel of Ruin, lowers a stat for all other Pokemon on the field. For Ting Lu, that stat is Special Attack. With Ting Lu's ability and its insane stats, there's no surprise that it's doing well in early regulation C. It's the perfect bulky offense Pokemon. Ting Lu's move pool has lots of tools to help it fill that role. Stomping Cantrum or Earthquake for a ground type stab, Throw Tropper Payback for dark type stab, and Heavy Slam for coverage into pesky fairy types. It can support its team too, with Ruination to soften off Pokemon for its partner to hit, Snarl to lower special attack, Taunch to mess with Amoongus and other status move users, and when all else fails, it can always click Fissure. Wait a minute. Did I really just bring up a one-hit knockout move in a competitive Pokemon video? We'll get back to that later. For a starting point on Ting Lu, give it an Assault Fest and make it Terra Poison to resist the fighting, fairy, and grass-type moves it normally hates. Give it a moveset of Heavy Slam, Ruination, Stomping Tantrum, and Fissure. The EV spreads on Ting Lu are still all over the place, but let's just start with 252 EVs in HP, 156 in Attack, and 100 in Defense with an Adamant Nature. Just remember, with a defensive Pokemon like Ting Lu, it's really important to make sure that's living the hits your team needs it to live. So make sure to calc. Ting Lu showed up on a lot of teams at the Fort Wayne Regional Championships. Hang in game three, Ting Lu Don Dozo. Plus backs caliber Ting Lu. Ting Lu switching in. Yeah, Ting Lu and Amoongus though. Usually on a balance team with Amoongus, Arcanine, Palafin, Fluttermane, and Bax Calib. Almost every Ting Lu that did well at Fort Wayne had an Arcanine with it. These two Pokemon synergize in a pretty obvious way. Ting Lu protects Arcanine from special attacks with Vessel of Ruin. Arcanine protects Ting Lu from physical attacks with Intimidate. A lot of Ting Lu players were also running Fluttermane, just as a generically good special attacker. Just don't forget that Ting Lu's ability affects your Pokemon just as much as your opponent's, so your Fluttermane's a little weaker while Ting Lu's on the field. Alright, alright, fine. Let's get to the elephant in the room. Why are Ting Lu players running Fissure? Why? 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 In case you don't know, Fissure is a one-hit knockout move. That means if it hits a Pokemon, the Pokemon is going to faint, with a few exceptions, like the ability Sturdy. But Oko moves are 30% accurate, and things that normally increase accuracy, like gravity or wide lens, do not work on them. So, normally they just aren't worth the gamble of wasting your turn. So, why is Ting Lu an exception? First, Fissure synergizes exceptionally well with the move Stopping Tantrum. Stomping Tantrum's base power doubles from 75 to 150 if the move the Pokemon used before it missed, was blocked by Protect, or otherwise fails. So, when Ting Lu clicks Fissure, it either knocks out the target, great, or it misses and gives Ting Lu access to a 150 base power ground type move for the next turn. Also pretty good. Fissure also lets Ting Lu break through some pretty crazy board states. Let's look at an example. I have Ting Lu Arcanine against your Wochian and Arcanine. Both my Pokemon are intimidated, and my Ting Lu is burned. Neither of us have a good way to damage each other. There's a million things messing with our offenses. So, if my Ting Lu has Earthquake, I would probably just lose to the HP recovery your Wu Chen has with Leftovers and Leaf Seed, even though it would take you a really long time to win. But a Ting Lu with Fisher could take advantage of the situation. Nothing is threatening to KO it anytime soon, so it can just spam Fisher over and over. And eventually, the odds are in my favor to hit and one-hit knockout your Wu Chen. With all the insanely powerful defensive tools in this format, like Arcanine, Amoongus, Dondozo, Wolchian, and Ting Lu, these sorts of scenarios where just doing damage the old-fashioned way isn't good enough are going to be pretty common. There's good reasons to run Fissure on Ting Lu, but that doesn't mean people are happy about it. Are you somebody who says, I want to win the game because I'm lucky or because, like, I'm the best Fissure player? Or do you, like, do you want to leave your fate up to chance? Some folks are worried that Fissure is going to turn VGC into a casino, where blind Fissure hits are going to decide games on luck rather than on careful positioning or skill. At Fort Wayne this past weekend, there was a match between two prominent players that both made top eight, Fiona and Luca. Fiona hit four fissures across two games, despite only clicking the move five times. Oliver, Ting Lu once again free to maybe click fissure. This turn it gets another no, one. Fiona, stop. No way. Oh, to the Arcanine. That is all KOs in this game have been fissure. So what do you think of fissure being viable in VGC? And what do you think of Ting Lu beyond its controversy? Let me know in the comments.